So good day everyone, today I'm going to review the Marvel Legend Walgreen Exclusive Marvel Sentry. So this is the box set where in the front we can see the Marvel Sentry, Sentry logo side, we can see the Sentry picture, the action figure picture with the accessory, the gift, the void hat and the, another one part of the hands. Uh, action figure picture again, so they didn't write anything about the Sentry. I think it's good for be or better for them to write a uh, brief history about the Sentry. Most of people doesn't know him. Well, he's uh, kind of the Marvel Superman, I think. He's a, a very, you know, a strong guy. The kind of guy that you, that you want to that you don't want to piss off him. So first, let's take a look for the accessory parts. First, they give us uh, the Void Head. As I say, so yeah, this is a, is a very nice design for the voids. Well, many people ask me about where this part of the comic they took. Actually, it's from the, the Dark Avengers from the issue 13 where we can see when they, when the, you know, the void was about to kill the Lindy. When then it was saved by the Sentry and the Bob. Well, um, you know, the voice is, is kind of a dark entity living inside the sentry. So, for the figure, so sorry for the head, yeah, I like it how he designed the void. You see from the bed how, the, how they made the flaming effects with the, with the, the void hair, you see, yellow followed by the, the flames. And the sc and the skull effects. It looks like a uh, ghost right there. If people doesn't know much about the Sentry and the Void, they will they will claim this is as a uh, a ghost rider. We can see the both eyes here is a yellow inside, and the mouth is cannot be closed. You see, it's always been open. It's how they make. And the teeth, the tongue, it looks so badass. So let's take a look for the for the hands they gave. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny how they give a finger finger, you know. Like actually, the sentry doesn't need to have a gun or any weapons. Like I said, he kind of you know like a, he's kind of like a DC Superman or DC Captain Atom. He doesn't need to hold a gun or some kind of weapon, a sword or whatever. Actually, it's better for him to having uh, open arms. Op sorry, open hands. Well, uh, I. I try to miss a match with this uh, hand where I get from the another Marvel Legend toys. Who he will mix with his color very well. So this is what they used to say in comics: the power of the exploding one million suns. And yeah, for the co uh, for the color is very nice one. How they mix and match the blue and the skin color. Nice combination for that one. So let's take a look for the action figure. Let me zoom this camera first. Well, there you go. So I like how they did, how how they did done for the hair. You know I like blowing from the air. How the wind blow. Like how he just came out from the saloon. <laughs> yeah. This is the S symbol. Classic Sentry S. I like how they mold the body here. I like how they design the muscle, the pec major, the shoulder. And if you take it loosely, there's a vein here. From here, you can see at the biceps. 
Hold it under their hands, very nice one. The color really match the yellow and the blue one. From the head to the big toe. The how they you know how they attach in the front chest here. I love it how they design. It's a very awesome figure. How they look so badass. The head you see, the eyes. Let me zoom in. A much deeper. There you go. For the eye, we can see it's a. We cannot see any lens. How they do is all the color, the paint, all the yellow. Like how the heat vision of the sentry, and like like Superman is a red heat vision for the sentry is a yellow heat vision. It's like uh what we call that from the Eternal movie, Icarus, right? Yeah. But uh, more than that, I think sentry way powerful than Icarus. How it is under hair, very good. Nice one detail, so detail for the hair, how they scalp one by one, yeah, you can see it. For the, let me zoom out the camera here. And for the, you know, for the cape, is they just soft rubber. So now let's take a look for the articulation. So for the articulation, first we go for the hair, can go downward, that's a good one, very decent, how can he look up, a little bit I think, okay, can twist around, no problem. For the shoulder joint, can do a T pose, yeah, 90 degree well, biceps will be well, for the elbow joint, more than 90 degree, and wrist swivel very good, same for this right also, no problem, yeah, for the upper torso, can go forward that much, can lean backward, excellent, and can twist. I think for mine is very tight. Need to put some oil and front for the uh, upper leg. Can keep that much. Can go backward that much. And for the knee double joint, yeah, excellent. There you go. And for the ankle. No problem, can go that much. It's a good articulation for the ankle. Can do it all around. So let's go for the size comparison. So let's compare first with this Marvel S Man. On the right side, and we have a Marvel Legend Nova. Two sweet ankle. There you go. So I think yeah, Sentry is a little bit higher compared to these two guys. Next, let's compare to the Thanos. There you go. Of course, the Thanos will be much taller than him. Then let's compare with other DC Universe Classics. There we go, Hawkman. It's the uh, same height with this guy. That's it guys, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.